don't think you're playing with a short dick. What do you mean? He's a good catch, and he likes you. Huh? What? Well, I don't like him. He's goofy. He doesn't look goofy now. Maybe you hurt his feelings. Ooh. Hey, Speedy, why are you so serious? Aren't you excited about the comet like everybody else? Hmm. I don't care about the comet. Huh? Listen, Polly, I've had a lot on my mind, and there's something I'd like to talk over with you. It's very important, so I hope you'll pay attention and not make fun of me as usual. Do you have any time tonight? Sure, Speedy, if you want. Fine, then I'll see you after work. I'm going for a walk. There's still some things I need to sort out. Downcast before. It must be serious. Maybe he's decided to sell his comic book collection. It can't be money. He cleared two dollars in tips just last week. But speaking of money, there's a financial crisis going on at the palace. Someone got their hand caught in the cookie jar. You crook! You've been stealing from us. Admit it right now! <laughs> It's not true. We just had a bad year. I don't know where the money went. I live a very humble lifestyle. You do not. You've got more clothes than I do. You've got more shoes than I do. You've got more makeup than I do. No, princess. <laughs> I swear I bought all that stuff at a yard sale. Quiet. I don't want to hear your lies. We've been keeping track of your thievery. Since you've been prime minister, the royal revenues have dropped to nothing, and we've been Big mouth. The truth is, I've never been very good at math. One and one is a lexium. Fred! Don't try acting dumb with me! Everyone knows one and one is three. I want to know what you did with all the money. We don't have enough cash left in the vault to buy an ice cream cone. Surely the princess is exaggerating. No, I'm not! My check bounced at the soda shop! She said that? <laughs> I tell you, no, geez, if it were me, I'd think about giving it all back to her. After all, what good will it do you to be rich if she sends you to Extra's Island? <laughs> it's only money. It's too late. I spent it on a new weapon. <laughs> you can't give it back? This is serious. That little brat will skin you alive. Maybe you could save yourself by resigning. You could always move to the country and grow potatoes for the rest of your life. What do I look like? Some kind of spud grabber? I refuse to resign. But it's the only way. We're all going to end up in jail. I've got a plan. Now listen carefully. Yes, sir. Here's what we'll do. What's this? Hitting aid. Right. Anyway, here's my plan. Wait a minute, you can't do that. You might destroy everything. Who cares? If this doesn't work, I'm going to be destroyed. So what's the difference? This is my last chance to go for the whole ball of wax. At a time like this, I don't need critics. What I need are supporters I can count on. So tell me, are you with me or against me? I'm with you, Seymour, but you've got to admit the plan is a little risky, don't you think? I'm desperate, I tell you. Hmm? The situation's worse than you know. I cleaned out everything. I even emptied the princess's piggy bank. Does she know yet? I don't think so. When she does, she's gonna feed me to the sharks. So I have to go all the way. There's no turning back. So that's the deal, eh? We're faced with a final confrontation. I wonder if my insurance premiums are paid up. Huh? Who's hiding there? It's just me, darling. What? Carla, it's you! You finally came back. Oh! Uh oh I haven't seen you for a long time. What made you come here today? You mean you don't remember? You told me to meet you here when we were separated. I'd forgotten. Oh. Wait, come back! Carla, my sweet! too bad bird but where are you <laughs> i'm sorry carla but for a ninja crow love is forbidden <laughs> goodbye now but but i can't believe it you love me so much you were willing to wait even though i lied to you and deserted you mm -hmm. even though you treated me like garbage i know deep in your heart you love me you just have a different way of showing it that's all 
We could watch the comet together. Then you could give up being a ninja and marry me. Isn't it about time? I guess you're right. I'll do it. You really mean it? Yes, but first I have one last job to complete. It's important. If I don't do it, I'll have failed the ninja code of honor. I could never show my face at the ninja retirement home unless I settled the score with the pizza cats. What's up, Big Al? I just wanted to let you know how pleased we are with your performance and to tell you that we're renewing your superhero contract for an additional five years. All right! Now I can buy that kitty condo. And I can take that vacation to Hawaii I've been putting off. I bet I look good in a grass skirt. And I can buy a cycle and join the professional dirt bike circuit. <laughs> I've been dying to burn some rubber. Mm, that reminds me, where is Speedy? He was real moody, so he took a walk to clear his head. When will he be back? I guess when his head's empty. <laughs> Very funny, girls. Call me when he shows up. Hi there, Speedy. I said hi there, Speedy. I'm sorry, Lucille. This is the most depressed I've ever seen you get, Speedy. So what's new? <laughs> There's something on my mind that I can't talk about it, even with you, Lucille. Come on, you can tell me. I'm dying to know. I can't stand it when people won't blab their secrets. Actually, she doesn't give a hoot about Speedy's problems, but she has to read whatever's in the script. <laughs> no matter what you say, I'm still not going to tell you. It's very personal, and I have to work it out on my own. See you later, Lucille. Come back. You didn't even make your usual stupid faces at me. You can't leave yet. Hey, she's right. <laughs> Is it an earthquake? Is it a volcano? No, it's something worse than that. It's the ultimate evil plot. It's the revenge of Big Cheese. Attention, residents of the city. This is your former Prime Minister speaking. I advise you to get as far away from the structure as you can. It contains a powerful weapon, and you might get hurt if you try to approach it. We're in the process of activating the weapon now, checking angle, trajectory, and distance. Here we go. fire today, so I decided to take action. Here's the deal. Make me your emperor, and I'll send the comet back into space. Otherwise, everything's going up in smoke. Here's the professor with an instant analysis. We have here is a dangerous situation. Big Cheese has altered the course of the comet so that it's headed for the heart of the city. We have very little time to meet his demands because the comet will soon reach a point of no return. And then we won't be able to alter its course no matter how hard we try. So you better do what he says. Get it? Got it? Good. Just to re-emphasize the professor's report, this is your final offer. Take it or leave it. And you better make up your mind soon. And don't even think of attacking this structure. It's protected by my ninja crows, plus a lot of booby traps, so there. Well, Big Cheese has really gone and done it now. He's forced us to pull out all the stops and initiate our final battle plan. Everyone must work together if we're to achieve victory. Is that clear? Yes. yes. Wait a minute. Speedy, where have you been? Off in a cloud. But I'm back now, and I have a question for Big Al. All right. Francine's good at taking orders over the phone, Big Al, but why are you making her part of the Pizza Cat Fighting Force? Shouldn't she be back at her launching post? Well, I suppose it's time I told you. I've been conducting secret training missions for Big Al. That's right. She's heading the force of backup Pizza Cats. You mean the other Pizza Cats? Correct, so don't give me any lip or you'll end up in early retirement. Now let's get to work and save the city. Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> 